Hello everyone! Today I am going to be doing a favourites video, but I realised I hadn't introduced myself on the channel yet, so my name is Leah and I'm a press on nails small business owner from Australia, specifically Perth. I started this shop um, because I really like to create things and I'm particularly inspired by BTS in case you haven't realised, but I do offer other designs that are not inspired by BTS. So I use the Apre Gel X nail system for the press-ons. I find that these are really good because they are very sturdy compared to some of the other brands that I've tried before. Sticking with Apre, the Gel X prep in the silver bottle is what I use to buff every single nail. I used to hand buff them and quickly realized that my hand was getting very sore. I found these based on Mini Ami Press, who is a nail creator as well and i really love this it is such a good product i've gone through these so much and i have a few spare as well all you do is you just get the nail chemically etch it with the little brush that it comes with and i think there's a mixture of alcohol acetone things like that in here along with some other things it does smell quite strong i will be honest so i do have to ventilate the space when i am using it Next, I want to talk about my favorite gel polishes and the brands that I buy. Usually I will buy Korean brands. I get these from Aurora Nail Supply, A-Tips Nails and Luna Beauty Store Australia. The first brand that I want to talk about is Doi. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is a South Korean brand made by a South Korean nail artist. Definitely some of my favorites, especially the nudie beige here, which is hands down my favorite beige and I use this all the time. On every single nude nail look, this is the base. As you can see, it's a really nice neutral beige kind of color, very thick and also quite workable. You do need a few coats with this though. Sometimes I will go up to three very thin coats just to get the opacity that I want, but also not to make the nail too bulky. The nudie pink is similar, just a little bit darker and a little bit more rosy colored compared to the nudie beige, but I also really love this color. And in the nudie gel range, they have colors like peach and green, blue, very soft colors. These are a lot thicker in my opinion, as you can see, very very thick and also a bit more opaque but also still really good and very workable. I do also like these a lot and would recommend them. If you're wanting some nice neutral colors I would highly recommend this brand. They also have things like magnetic gel which I will show you in a minute. This is the magnetic gel so this is the plain silvery color. It is quite fine in its pigment. It has a little bit of glitter not as fine as some of the other ones that I've used before but definitely less glittery than one of the other ones that I really, really like. I repurchased this a few times and I use this for designs like Dechuta and Love Me Again. I tend to use milky white nail polishes as a base in quite a lot of my nail sets. I just find that it is a lot softer compared to the stark white of an opaque white nail polish. So these three are my favorites. If you have watched any of my videos before, you will know that I have repurchased this Yogurt Gel Korea nail polish so many times. This one is the Wedding Shoes color and it is from the Cherry Blossom Ending Collection. It is a very nice soft white, but isn't too thick or anything like that. Definitely one I absolutely love. The only thing about this is that it is eight milliliters, which is quite small really for how often I use it. Unfortunately, quite a lot of Korean gel nail bottles tend to be eight milliliters. So it is a bit difficult when I'm using the same thing all the time. The Mayor one is hands down my favorite Milky White nail polish. Again, an eight milliliter bottle but it has this really cute cap. Not that it affects anything, but I just think it's really quite sweet. This one is pretty much out, if you can see. There isn't much gel in here. I definitely need to repurchase, but I really love this one. It is a bit thicker than the other two, and I think the opacity is just slightly higher, which is why I prefer it. But just with the Yoga Gel Korea one, it does yellow. It's pretty perfect over white, and I really love it. Finally, the Mayo Peach Peach collection, and this is in the shade MB01. This one has a slightly more cream color to it compared to the other two. It is also slightly thinner, 
but definitely a good nail polish and I would highly recommend if you want a non-yellowing milky white nail polish I would definitely repurchase this and I need to make an order very soon <laughs> and this one is also 10 milliliters so a little bit more in the bottle compared to the other two the next brand that I want to share is called Jinbi they are another South Korean nail brand. Jinbi is really great. They were actually the first nail set company that I ever bought from. I think the formula is really nice. It's quite thin and it self levels really well. Definitely perfect for beginners. The Sweet Tea collection, as you can see, is a syrup collection, but it has a little bit of a milky undertone and the colors are very pastel. I love this collection so much and I'm actually tempted to go and buy the collection again. That is how much I love it. This is a collection I love so much. It's very soft and very pretty. Definitely perfect for spring and summer kind of nail sets. This collection is I think the candy or candy pop collection. Something along those lines. It is a five nail polish bottle collection. And the colours are in a similar vein to... The Sweet Tea collection, however, they are a little bit thicker in consistency and very vibrant. They are also a semi-opaque syrup gel and the brush is a bit wonky here. I think I put it in wrong. Definitely a collection I also highly recommend if you like bright nail polishes. The Sunset collection is the third one that I've bought from Jinbi. The consistency is quite thin comparable to the Sweet Tea collection. And these are more true syrup gels, just with a darker finish. These are very pretty and I would say perfect for like the winter and autumn seasons, which definitely I will be doing something with these super soon because it is very windy and wet and cold here. So definitely needing some warm, cozy vibes on my nails sometime soon. These magnetic gels are some of my favorites. I think these may be actually my favorite magnetic gels that I've ever used in my life. They are just so beautiful. This is from the brand Gel and Gel. I think they are a relatively new South Korean brand that has just come out and I really love their products. I'd say they're a little bit more glittery compared to some of the other magnetic gels that I own, but the bases of them are so beautiful and definitely give the illusion of like stars in the sky. They are just that pretty. I cannot recommend these enough. They are slightly thick, but not to the point where they're not workable. Gentle Pink is another brand that I also recommend. They have syrup gels and magnetic gels. This magnetic gel is by far my favorite one that I have bought from them. And it's one that I use for indigo, face, the astronaut, pretty much everything aside from the ones that I use for, that I use the dolly one with. As you can see, it is quite a glittery formula. This I really like because it again gives the illusion of like stars and I think it just creates a very pretty kind of effect on the nail. But the same range also offers a more finer magnetic particle such as this shade here. And as you can see, the magnetic particles are very fine, giving an almost velvet-like finish. This is also very pretty. I would say that the formula is quite soft to work with and self-levels quite nicely as well. Their syrup gels are absolutely incredible in my opinion and I really love them. They're thin enough that they don't take too long to self-level, but they also are not too thin that they run everywhere. As you can see, they are quite runny in comparison to some of the other gels that I've shown. And I would say that these are perfect for beginners if you wanted to get into syrup gels. Devok is another brand that I really love. It is another South Korean brand, but I would say it is a little bit more expensive, at least on my end in Australia, compared to the rest of the brands that I've shown so far. They are really good quality though, and I would definitely say that they are worth the little bit extra. And the collections that I have of them that I really, really love, the Marble Fit collection, which is kind of like blooming gel, but not. These are very inky products that you put on the base that it comes with and it will disperse it really nicely. I use them for Dechwita here and you can see the black is that smoky effect which I use the marble foot gels for. Their cherry blossom collection is absolutely beautiful in my opinion and this is the glitter syrup gel that it comes with. One of my favorites and absolutely perfect for spring and summer. 
The formula of this is very, very soft to work with again, definitely not too thick and self levels really nicely. Finally, the New Moon collection. This is what I have on my nails right now. And it is just a beautiful magnetic gel collection. I will say that the formula is a lot thicker compared to the Cherry Blossom collection, but it has a really sweet iridescence with every single color that really complements the base color beneath it. Very gorgeous and very fun magnetic gels. Next on to glitter gels. I use the Yoga Gel Korea, the most beautiful moment in life collection. I think that's what this is called. Yes, I did buy it for the name initially, but it's actually a really good investment. So it paid off in the end. This collection is beautiful. It has quite a lot of colors in the collection and I think they've done a part two as well, which I haven't yet got, but it seems quite pretty. The gels are quite thick, I will be honest, but definitely workable. Here, this is the one I reach for the most. It has a nice milky white base with some pretty iridescent glitter in. The formula is thick enough that the glitter doesn't feel lumpy on your nail and feels really nice and smooth, but it is also thin enough that it isn't too difficult to work with. Staying with glitters, I want to talk about the Canny You glitters that I own. I'm not entirely sure what this collection is from because I bought them as individuals and I bought these from Aurora Nail Supply Australia. These are so beautiful. I use this shade pretty much all the time which is the blue one in the shade number 7. And as you can see it is a very soft glitter iridescent with a this one has a clear base, but some of them don't. The colors are absolutely stunning and the gel is on the thinner side, I'll say. However, it is thick enough and the particles of glitter are small enough that you don't have to feel that lumpiness again. <laughs> As you can see, this one has a peach base, but still quite sheer in terms of its color. It is a little thicker, I will say, compared to some of the other ones, but definitely still workable. Sticking with Canny You again, the matte colour polish is definitely my favourite matte nail polish I've ever tried for chrome designs. The cap is also really nice and it just feels very luxurious. Not that that influences anything, but it just feels quite nice to use. The brush is also really nice, but I go ahead and put this on the nail. I cure it for 120 seconds and then I wipe it with acetone. Put on my gel polish for my chrome and nothing sticks to this at all. It is absolutely perfect. And definitely the thing that has changed the game for chrome for me so if you're struggling with chrome i would highly recommend this finally for gel nail products in bottles this is my favorite matte top coat and this is my favorite top coat this matte top coat is the one that i use all the time in terms of putting pigments on the nail so i'll put this on cure it for 60 seconds and then use an eyeshadow or some neon pigments or something to create that aura effect. This is a very thin formula and self levels almost instantly. So for me, this is perfect for a matte top coat in terms of the pigments because some of the other ones I've tried are just a little bit too slow to self level and a bit streaky. Finally, the top coat that I recommend as my favorite is the Diamond No Wipe Top Coat from NSI Australia. This is a beautiful top coat. It is definitely one that takes a longer time to cure. I cure this for two minutes as well. It just has a really nice finish that something like the Beatles one just doesn't quite compare to in my opinion. So I'm unfortunately out of this right now, but I will have to pick up another couple of bottles because I just love it as my final top coat 100%. Back to Jinbi, they have some of my favorite non nail polish products as well. So the Crazy Top Thick and the Fix Gel are two things that I have gone through quite a few times now and I absolutely love them. So the Crazy Top Thick is just a very, very thick top gel. It is non-wipe and perfect for the 3D elements that you can put on nails. It's what I've used for the ridges in this set. I find the formula very good to work with and I definitely love it for creating lots and lots of details on my nails. I use it pretty religiously and I also use it to mix with my MPA palette which I will show you in a minute just to create a thicker texture for my gels. Next I want to talk about the Fix Gel. This is the Clear Fix Gel from Jinbi and it is perfect for adhering anything like rhinestones, chains, pearls any small alloy charms or anything like that and it is a really good product. I would compare it to the Macar rhinestone glue but it is just a thicker formula and in a pot which I personally prefer. 
It also has a really nice scent. I don't know if that's just me, but I really like it. But yeah, it's a great product and this is my second pot. It also comes in a really, really big pot size. They're both 25 grams and I think you can get the Crazy Top Thick and the Crazy Top Standard as both 40 grams as well, which is a very, very good investment in my opinion. Similar to the Clear Fix Gel, this is the Yogo Korea 3D Clear Clay Gel. This is like a putty gel and you can use it to create 3D characters or things like 3D bows, handmade, things like that. And it is like a very thick, putty, blue tack, Play-Doh like texture. I personally use this the most for adhering very, very big charms. It's what I use to adhere the Dragon Charm for Dechuta. And as you can see, I won't try and rip my nails, but yeah, you cannot get this off at all. And I really like working with it. I will say that it is a bit sticky when you're working with it and wearing gloves. However, definitely wear gloves when you're using anything like that because you don't want to get cured gel on your skin because you might run the risk of getting contact dermatitis or an allergy. I think before I move on to things like chrome and tools and charms and just things that I personally use to help me with my nail creating process, the MPA palette, which is this palette here, I did add the stickers on top just so I know what side is what but this is definitely one of my biggest investments, but also my favorite investment. Now this palette comes with a massive box. I can't actually show you because it will not fit in frame. You will have to excuse the state of this palette. It is something I use so often and yeah, she's looking a little bit. It comes with 40 colors and a few spare of these magnetic holders, I think. Because the palette is metal, um, each one of these little palettes in the palette has a magnet on the bottom and you can stick it on. And it is very handy because you can actually buy the refill separately. So they come in a syringe-like tube with this little syringe thing here. And when you want to refill them, you just go ahead and squeeze it down. As I said, you can buy these separately. So if you don't want to commit to the entire thing or you just wanted a few colors like black and white anyway and you didn't want to use the rest of it for nail polish colors or things like that, then you can just get the ones that you want and buy something like this little watercolor tray. Now you'll have to excuse the state of this, I wasn't expecting to show it, which I have a lot of my clay gels in and you could just syringe them into here. Just make sure not to overfill them and just to keep it flat in the surface if you're going to be using something runny. But you can pick these up on AliExpress, Timu, places like that for just like a dollar or two dollars and they're really handy in my opinion. I think that they are great for the clay gel if you're going to be creating characters or if you, again, don't want to commit to something like this but you definitely know that you want a black or a white or a purple or something like that. You could definitely just buy the colors that you want and use something like this. The company also does smaller ones. So this is the, this is my very, very, very battered syrup gel collection. They are very thick, I will be honest. They are less thick than the opaque MPA palette. However, they are still quite thick syrup gels. I would recommend either watering these down with a clear top coat or just going very slowly with them. They don't self-level at all, so that is something to be mindful of, but I have these in the clear syrup gel and I have these in the pastel syrup gel as well. It feels right to talk about chrome now, so we are going to be talking about my favorite chrome brands. The first chrome brand that I highly recommend and I use every single time I use a silver or a gold is the Nail Bio or Toy Nail Chrome. And this one is in obviously gold and I also have the silver. I won't open them because I am prone to spilling these unfortunately because the jars are just very small. These are perfect and definitely my favorite I would say. You don't need a lot at all. The pigment is very fine and I don't think they're that costly. Possibly the most expensive one that I own is the Bonnie Bee collection. Now I have a few of these and these are the finest powders that I have ever tried. They are absolutely beautiful, but they are very costly, I will be honest. You don't need a lot and they are super fine. Similarly, the Blanc Blanc 
ones are also really good. You don't need a lot at all, but they are a little bit more glittery than the Bonnie B ones. However, these also are roughly the same price, but half the size of the Bonnie B ones. So relatively the same investment. This one I use all the time for any rose gold. So face or my spring day pink version one. And this is in the shade Dusty Ash. Lastly, the cheapest ones that I own are the Savvy Land ones, which I got on Amazon. I got a bunch of these. They are really good quality as well. They're definitely quite cheap in comparison to the other ones. So if you aren't familiar with chrome or you just don't want to spend too much money, then these are the ones for you. The only problem about these is the pot is just very difficult to work with and I spill these quite a lot. So I'm definitely not going to show you the insides, but this is like a purpley, pinky, very pretty, rose goldy kind of chrome. Next, I want to talk about tools. So the tools that I reach for quite often are pin curing torches, such as this one from Jinbi. It's really handy because you can just quickly pin cure your design. And I also have one that I bought, I think from AliExpress. It may have been Timu. Um, this one is quite good because not only does it have a few different timers, so you click it once and it goes 20 seconds, 60 seconds, or it will turn off. It also came with a rubber thing at the end, which I think is for glitter. But the main reason why I bought this one as well is because it has a magnetic stand. So just say that you are going to want to do your gel X extensions. You can click it, do your gel X and it's hands free rather than the issue that unfortunately I do have with something like the Jinbi product. I also saw a hack and I think it was from Junail or Shuni Nail or somebody like that. And they said to put a charm on your pin curing torch, which I have, which also makes it a lot easier for me to press the button, but also doesn't roll anywhere on the desk. Another thing that I recommend is just a small dispenser bottle. Now this one I got from Amazon, I think a year or two years ago and it's just a basic plastic one you can get metal ones and you can get ones that are suitable for acetone this one's just for alcohol but i find it very helpful when i'm using a lint-free wipe and i can just push it down dispense the alcohol or gel cleanser these are the winstonia nail art striping brushes and i get these from amazon as well these are actually an american import however i haven't found anything close to these yet they're great because they now actually come with a cap they didn't used to but they do now which is very handy i hope that you can see but this is how thin the brushes are this one is a little bit wonky just because i use it so often but this is the size medium and it comes in long medium and short i use these all the time literally for every detail that I do on a nail. In terms of charms, I kind of get them wherever I can, whether that's AliExpress. Sometimes I've brought them off Timu before and I think Amazon is a little bit pricey in Australia for things like this, just from the same factory as you will get from AliExpress. So I think just trying to find them wherever you can get them as most economical for you, then they are pretty much the same wherever you go. I do get a mixture of big chunky charms, also some smaller rhinestones and things like that. Obviously, if you want to go down the Swarovski crystal route, you will have to try and hunt a supplier. But for normal charms or pretty rhinestones like this that aren't Swarovski, you can pretty much just get them wherever just because they are from the same factory anyway, usually. Finally, I want to talk about nail glue. Now, I use the McCart nail glue. This is something that I find relatively easy to get hold of in Australia off Amazon. Every single nail set that is purchased comes with this little pack and it has the nail glue, a cuticle stick, a buffer, some free stickers and some alcohol wipes that I get from a local supplier. And this is what the nail glue looks like. It's quite big actually of an amount that you get in there. Usually I'll put my nails on and it will only go down to like there or there or so. So you do get a couple of uses out of these for 10 fingers, which I think is actually quite good. Um, but I do include one for every single nail set because you don't want to use it all up and you've got two nail sets and you haven't got any more glue. But if you do buy from me, you don't need to use this. You can use whatever you like. You can use the nail tabs that we send or you can also just use whatever nail glue that you prefer anyway. I think I haven't forgot anything. This is pretty much everything that I use very often when doing nails, press on nails. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.